Wow, life lessons, the latest project from gospel artist Papa San, who joins us now from across the way. San, good morning. Regent. Good morning, blessed, 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 blessed. Good to see you guys, man. It's a blessing, always a blessing, always a pleasure, you know? Yeah, are you too far, man? You need to come sit with us inside the studio. For real, I wish I would be there, you know? I would be there right now, but, you know, yeah, I mean, soon, very soon. Yeah. Definitely. Congratulations on the project. Love that tune, son. Tell me a little bit about that tune before we talk about the album. You know, it's about life experiences, you know, from myself and from others as well. You put those things together so we can be able to uplift people. You know, sometimes people count you out and say, you will never make it in life, but God see a different, see a different picture of your life and, and show you a different pathway. And, and that's what the tune is all about, is to really strengthen people and to uplift them to know that you know, Christ see them differently from how other people see them. Mm. And so, don't you what, Jesus Christ still love you the same. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, so we give that praise. Yep. As a gospel artist, you, you sing gospel songs. Um, how do yeah. you make them different, uh, even though you're kind of saying the same thing? I don't know if you understand, <laughs> the, the, uh, kind of understand the question. You're, you're talking about the love of Jesus, the love of God, uh, being a Christian. How do you make the songs different? The one time when I was in the world and the secular uh, world, I used to write to, to suit or to please the audience or to move a crowd. But now I write at what I was told to write. So I don't just get up and write the lyrics. I prayed about it first, allow God to guide me and show me. And I write this and the scripture itself. And how I can apply the scripture and apply principles from the scripture, you know, to our everyday life situation. So it's not just me writing now. It is him writing through me. And that's the difference. Mm -hmm. does, it, does that make it easier to write a song than, than before? Yes, because it takes you out of the picture. <laughs> it's not up near all of him. You're just a you vessel. Know? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just a driver. I might just wake up with a melody in my head. You know, where it came from, from him. You know, and the words just start flow and it just start right. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, so it's much easier for me to write because as long as I'm allowing him to guide me, you know, that's the key thing. You know, we've been guided by God. God himself lives inside of us. The Holy Spirit guides us into all truth and shows things to come. You know, so you have, to, you have to just pray, be prayerful about, you know, what you put on paper and just allow him to guide you as you go. Yeah, one life lesson there you just shared with us. Tell us about the rest on this album, Life Lessons. Why did you yeah. call it that? And, um, and then tell us about what we can expect from it. So much because it, it, it touched the everyday life, you know, situations that we you know, face as people. And uh, we use now the principle from the scripture to use as a medicine to apply to our lives and show people how oh, God divert us from some things, take us through some things, or prevent us from some things, or sustain us, or strengthen us during some difficult times. And that's what life lessons are about. Talk about the stuff that we've been through as a people. I know God loved us enough to take us out of those things and bring us and bring us out as pure gold. You know, so the whole entire album is strictly about that and to exalt the name of Jesus Christ. And that's what it's all about. You said bring through as a people. How difficult, how easy was it? Uh, you mentioned the secular world. How easy was it for you to move from there um, to where you are now? Was that difficult for you or no? No, it was. I was desperate for Jesus. <laughs> you know, after you live so much life out there and it never worked. You know, you have money, you have, you have fame, you have your touring, you do everything, and you still hit a dead end road where you have no peace, you have no satisfaction, you feel like a lonely man in a crowded room. You reach the end of yourself. You know, and I was desperate for God. And you know, thank God, the best decision decision I've ever made in my life is to receive Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And my life just been changed from that time 25 years ago. So, I mean, it wasn't difficult for me. I was desperate to meet him, to know him. You know, and I'm, I'm so blessed today. Easy. 25 years already, sir? Yeah. 25 years. Whoa. It just looked like it. I, wrote this I know, years. right? Easy being a Christian? Yes, 25 years. 12, no, I, said, 25. I said, is it easy being a Christian? It's easy, of course, because Jesus paid it all for us. You know, it's called grace. <laughs> you know, you know, it's not what you have done and how much you, you know, how you live your life and make, make you become a Christian. It's, it's, um, it's really what Jesus Christ did for you and I. He died and was raised from the dead and I accept him as my personal Lord and saved, asked him to forgive him my, of all my sins and surrender my life to him. That's what it is. And when I did that, that was it. You know, it's like a light bulb turned on, my appetite erased from the past, the things of the past, 
the appetite I have in the world. Things I used to do, I don't have the appetite for it no more. Mm -hmm. I do feel temptations like everybody else, but I don't have the appetite to live the life that I once lived before. That appetite has been erased 25 years ago. Sometimes people ask me, why you don't sing some of the whole stuff them? I don't have no appetite for those things. I don't have no appetite to live that kind of a life. Yeah, I live the the records are there for the people who want you to, to go back there. You don't have to do it <laughs> In our video, she said, How has your craft changed? And I listened to you sing at the top of that video. You sound like a, you know, your style sounds a little different, but as you go further down, we hear the same lyricists, we hear the same cadence in with the speeding up of the spitting of the lyrics of the. So, how has I hear you sound a little bit like you've almost expanded and grown your instrument, but then I hear the same sound in there. So, how has the craft changed over the years? The content changed. But the, the, the gift thing that God plant inside of me, we are using it for him. And um, and the thing about it, so we change the content, which is the message. And so with the flow, the style, the versatility, you're going to get those fast things because that's me. That's how God gifted me to talk fast mm -hmm. or to, you know, write lyrics and put things together as well. But, you know, when it comes <laughs> to the content, whole different message I'm sending. But you will hear I'm going fast, sometimes slow with melodies and stuff like that, using the reggae music, the dancer music as a vehicle to carry content. Yeah. You know, and that's what it's all about. Back to the album, any collabs? No collabs. This is the first gospel album I've had since uh, uh, since I've been saved. And um, no, and Hall is our collaboration on them, but this one is just me. You know, just for the first time. <laughs> you know, because every one of them have somebody on there, but... This time it's just me. Yeah. You know, I think it, it's due to as well, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. Where do we find it? Every platform. You go Apple, Spotify, you name it, every digital platform, it's there. You know, and it's, it's doing well. It's playing in 147 countries now. And it's just shooting across different borders. So we give that thanks for that, you know, and for the doors that he has opened for us. 147 countries. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, well, I'm giving you a little 30 seconds, that one of them, no? <laughs> when the rose is no red and the violence no blue, something them tongue and chop me into you make everything new. That me love about you, that me love about you, what that me love about you. When some call me on five, four, three, two, say me now go make it me no know when me I do you increase my revenue. That me love about you, that me love about you, what that me love about you, that's you. You still love the show love regardless. I read me everything at the office. <laughs> Blessings, one yeah, love. Man. Yeah, man, respect. Good to see you there. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. And stay safe. Continue to do what you're doing. And as Sim said yes. at the start, hopefully next time we speak, you'll be you're right here, right beside us here yeah. in, in studio. Well, I, I'd love to be there. You know, and good to see you guys, man. It's a blessing as always. Yeah. Yeah. God bless you. Look after yourself. Yes, sir. Right. Papa San joining us this morning. Take a break. More. We'll soon come back. <laughs>